perimeter shots you put up this year and working to extend your game. Can you kind of take us through that a little bit? Uh, yeah, I mean, pretty much what I've been doing is just working hard um, by myself and pretty much just trying to get a lot of reps up and a lot of good reps and make a ton of shots throughout the day. Uh, have you – what kind of progress have you seen? If you go back to maybe either the mid-spring to where you are now. Progress that, like, I see myself and how confident I feel in my shot and seeing a bunch go in and, like, coaches coaches and the rest of our team, like, the rest of the players see that a lot, I make a lot of shots, perimeter shots in particular, and they, they, they seem to be impressed with it. So it's, it's good. Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. Josh Graham followed by Ryan Wilcox. Hey, Garrison. Thanks for doing this. Um, we've heard a lot about the big men who are coming in, the five stars and Walker and Dayron. What's your initial impression of both those guys? Yeah, I'm very impressed with both of those young men. Um, they both work really hard, and they're both adapting really well and, and catching on the speed right now. And Coach is impressed with it, and I think it's great because it's going to help our team get a lot better every day. Following up real quick, the jump shot for Dayron. We've heard a lot that he has pretty good range for a big man. What have you seen there? No, he does not. I don't know who told you that. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh <laughs> Shoots the ball really well. Um, I joke around with him a lot. I call him Joel Embiid because I think he has a really good skill set, like similar to Joel Embiid. Ryan followed by Kiara. Oh, what's up, Garrison? Uh, so like Andrew said, we know the jump shot is something you've been working on um, this offseason and the past offseason. Uh, what else have you been working on? What, are, what other aspects of your game have you been trying to improve? Um, just still being a leader, still scoring the ball inside. Um, Running, the, running up and down the court, really trying to get better at that because that's what coaches emphasize every year. And I, I've tried to get better at that every year. Um, also, something I, I've been trying to get better at this year is just like guarding by myself. And that, that's been pretty much what I've been trying to do, just get better guarding like alone and not needing help and can, can lock down my man. Kiara cool. followed by CL. Hey, Garrison. Um, Speaking of your, your leadership and coming into your own, even your mother said, you know, she was so happy to see you maturing the way that you have. What has surprised you most about yourself coming into your senior se your senior season? Yeah, um, something that surprised me um, pretty much just being vocal a little bit. It's uh, not something I really like to do, talk a whole lot, but uh, I surprised myself just being more of a vocal leader, just passion, trying to do it now. And I think that's something that, that I've done that's, really doing, do, going well for me and my uh, the team this year. CL, then Brian. Garrison, what, what would you say you learned or took out of last last year, um, looking at it from a team perspective? Yeah, what didn't we learn? Um, but the hard part was, uh, I think that throughout losing all those games, I think the, um, the thing that, I, that stuck out to me the most is like, when things aren't going right, you come in and try to work even harder than you did the day before so you can try to really change those things. I think that's something I had to learn myself to, to come in and try to work hard every day and fix what's going on. And uh, kind of individually looking at it, do you feel like much more of, of an offensive threat now um, after having such success last, last season? Uh, yes. Yes, I do um, because I just had – uh, little, well, I think it was. I had still. I still had success last year, and I think that my confidence has grown, and I think that I'm a better player from last year. Thanks. Hey, let me uh, let me interrupt. Are you still not getting any video? Can you see him? Okay. Video. Yeah, we yeah, have we video now. Yeah, All we right. can see him now. All right. Yeah. If you if that happens, just come back to me and say, yeah, it's fixed. Thanks. Um, all right. Who that was? CL. Then you, we get Brian there. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Garrison. Uh, with everything going on this summer with COVID, um, what has been the hardest part to try and adjust and adapt and get back into the schedule? Yeah, um, I was talking to one of our managers, John Bum, from my freshman year, like, uh, yes, last night, actually. And I was just telling him, like, how everything could change in, like, a mere fact of, like, two days. And I think it's just, it's, it's been tough for us, um, just trying to plan everything and stay safe and, keep everyone in like a tight bubble. And I think that's that's really hard for us. I mean, I think that it's a challenge and we've been doing it pretty well. And then on a basketball note, last year you played a fair amount of, uh, 
fair amount of the five when Armando was on the bench, but with the new guys coming in, um, a lot of big men, do you expect you'll be doing that at all? Do you think you'll be sticking mostly to the four this year? Uh, my guess would be I'll be sticking to the four because I mean, those, I mean, those guys are much bigger than me and I think they can play the five and they're going to do it well. All right. Thank you. Brendan, then uh, Ross, Brendan Marks. Hey, Garrison, thanks for taking the time. Uh, I, I know you talk about coaches been emphasized the running and everything so far, but just from your standpoint, you've seen how the freshmen have come along so far. What is the, the biggest question you still have about this group? What's the thing that you're waiting to see them sort of develop or evolve into? Um, I'm not really, I don't really have any questions for them. I think that they're going, I mean, they, they pretty much answered everything that I, I've, I've had, like, I have to ask about them. But uh, the biggest thing that, that you could question is it's, if they're going to do it in games. But I think that they'll be fine in games, and we'll see November 25th. Ross, go ahead. See if you can get this question in. Okay. Hey, hey Garrison, um, what stands out about what Caleb Love can do? What have you seen from him that stands out? Caleb Love, of course, is a really good player, very athletic. Um, I think he scores the ball really well in the transition. And, um, Really shooting the ball well from outside. I think the the biggest surprise to me is that like he's he's somewhat athletic. I wouldn't tell him that to his face though. And then how do you see RJ Davis kind of working into the offense as well alongside Love? Yeah, man, RJ's RJ's been been great, man. Like he's he's adapted really well, been pushing the ball really well, playing how Coach Williams expects his guards to play, and it's just been phenomenal seeing him out there. He can goddamn score the ball the best of anybody. Great, thank you. Anybody else with a question for Garrison? Have one. Go ahead. Hey, Garrison, kind of going back to leadership, I think over the years you've obviously stepped more into a role for the younger guys as it pertains to basketball. But with 2020, we've kind of seen with a pandemic and then social injustice kind of come to the forefront for you guys. How do you see your, your leadership style kind of grow in that direction, maybe tackling more tough like subjects? Yeah. Um... I just, I just pretty much try to emphasize, like, our guys, use your voice and be educated about things going on around you, except, I mean, everything going on around you outside of, like, basketball and, and like, music and, like, fashion and stuff like that. But I think that people should be more in tune with what's going on around them and how it could affect them and how it's affecting their people. And just a quick follow-up, how has that been different from when you came in as a younger guy? I mean, I don't necessarily know if that kind of mindset was on the, you know, mind of younger guys when you were entering into college. No, not at all. It wasn't on my, uh, that wasn't on the front of my mind coming into college. Uh, all I could think about in, the, in my freshman year was just like coming in, just trying to get used to being in North Carolina and playing basketball. But I do realize other things are more important at the time. And I think that we uh, we we've had very tough conversations about those topics that are going on in the world. And I think this has worked out really well for our guys. Okay, we got six quick questions for Garrison before uh, we get Andrew in here, so no follow-ups. So Andrew Jones followed by Josh. Garrison, uh, real quickly, what does a healthy leaky black look like these days? Yeah, healthy leaky black looks like a Swiss Army knife. You know, he can do anything. <laughs> That's pretty much how I would describe him. Uh, how much quicker or more alert? I know he said no follow-up, but if you could elaborate a little bit more on that, please. Yeah, um, Leaky's always been really good on defense. Uh, he's been getting up and down the floor really well. Of course, he's always getting people involved. Uh, the surprising part is he's healed up really well from his injuries, and I think that he he's become what he was in high school, like a big athletic guard, and he's just going to be really good this year. You will see. Cool. Thanks. Appreciate it. Don't worry, Andrew. Nobody ever listens to me. Uh, I told Playtech to come back about five minutes since we had some technical glitches here. If G doesn't mind sticking around for a few extra. Uh, Josh Graham followed by CL. Uh, see there, I can't see him. Yeah, Josh, go. Uh, just give us an initial impression. We're a few weeks out of the season. Um, some of the things you're seeing from the new guys now that we're, they're, they're in the building, you guys been working together. Yeah, um, <laughs> my initial impression is like we're gonna be really we're gonna be a really good team. I think that 
I think we're going to do what Carolina does, get up and down the floor really well, get the ball inside, and I think that we're going to be tremendous rebounding the ball. I think we need to be the best rebounding team in the country and then not even be close. CL followed by Ross. Harrison, how has COVID changed? Uh, what changes were had had to be made in terms of the conditioning that you guys normally do? I understand you guys aren't aren't doing the uh, the mile this year. Yeah, COVID is COVID has changed everything. Um, pretty much, uh, we had we can't be in the locker room all at the same time. We can't. We have to social distance all the time. Always have to have masks. But I think that we've we've done a good job of finding other stuff to do. We've been outside a terribly amount, like terribly, like a terrible amount. I'm not gonna lie, but it's, uh, I think that's how, I think that's the biggest adjustment. We've been outside running the whole time and I think that's okay. Uh, Isaac followed by Brendan, last two. Yes, sir. Thanks for your time, Garrison. Uh, man, it is hard to believe you are on the cusp of your senior season. Uh, what would you say, uh, looking back on that young man from Lafette coming in several years ago? Good God Almighty! That's not, <laughs> nah, it's uh, if I could look at him now, I say, man, you're gonna come a long way with just hard work and dedication. Right on, thank you. Last one, Brendan. Yeah, Garrison, I just wanted to follow up. You were talking about RJ. You sounded very complimentary of him. Uh, is he the new guy who's probably surprised you the most, or is there someone else um, who, who maybe has really stood out to you and you weren't necessarily expecting them to acclimate that quickly? Yeah, it's, it's RJ, and it's not even close because I don't like De'Ron as much. Um, coach compliments De'Ron too much, so I got to compliment RJ all the time now. But, nah, it's, I'm impressed with all the guys, but I think I like RJ the most because, I mean, of course he's a guard, and he plays really good, and – um, he took B. Rod's number, number four. So I, as a, like B. Rod left me, he left R.J. So, and then R.J. passed me the ball all the time. So it's it's pretty good. Thank you. Anybody else? Anybody I missed? All right, Garrison. Thank you. We'll get Andrew Playtech in here next. That concludes ACC Media Day. <laughs>